Welcome to the first show of On The Air. My name is Michael Rodriguez and I'll be your guide through the incredible world of opportunity that our space brings in. From the newest aircraft to the most dangerous air rescue, we're going to explore the different ways that men have conquered the skies. And talking about skies, today we are at the beautiful Miami Diving School, where we're gonna take you step by step in how to skydive. Um, what we do here at Skydive Miami is we, um, we take up a lot of first-time jumpers. We utilize the tandem parachute uh, training system. Okay. Um, it takes probably about 20 to 30 minutes worth of briefing before you are ready to make this type of jump. Um, we are able to get you up in this short time period because literally you're with one of us professionals and you'll be um, harnessed onto us for the actual free fall. In order to be a skydiver, what are the requirements? You need a license, you need a certain amounts of uh, jumps. Exactly, let, let me explain it. Uh, what we do here at Skydive by Emmy is mm -hmm. it is a nine jump training program. Okay. The first three are utilizing the tandem training system with the mm -hmm. harness. Okay. Uh, once you have shown proficiency on your third tandem, then we put you in for an eight hour grind school. So you literally sit in a room like this and we go through everything that you need to know on how to use that parachute that we had to look at earlier on. Oh, then we'll go up on our fourth jump you wear that parachute and we come beside you almost like a child learns to ride a bicycle with the little training wheels on the exactly. side. We're literally holding onto the side of you in free fall. And that's how you learn how to okay. skydive um, over a period of six more jumps. So the whole program is nine jumps. Now what happens after your nine jumps? Okay. Then you're cleared for solo. You can go on your own using your own parachute, 13,500 feet, and go in free fall all on your own. Oh, yeah. And work towards your license. You get your license at a total of 25 jumps. Wow. Yeah. Freddy, what is the cost? We have two options. A person can either do the 8,000 foot jump, it's around about you know, $199, or you can go for the big one at 13,500, that's okay. an extra 30. Okay. So you're looking around about $200 for an introductory uh, jump. Okay. For people who want to go through the whole program and learn how to use that parachute themselves, um, to go all the way through the nine jumps in the program, you're probably looking in, in the region of $1,300 to $1,400 to get to that level. Now it's time for our first pilot lesson, and there's no better way to learn how to fly than ADF Airways. How are you today, Alex? How are you doing? Alex, what are the requirements that you need to become a pilot? If they're not citizens, we have to do a background check. That's after September 11. So if they're residents, uh, we do have to do a, back, a background check with TSA. How long is the course? Ten months to a year to get the whole, all the licenses if, it, if the student does it you know, full time. And the cost of the course? From zero to commercial, mm -hmm. uh, it, the average is $25,000. To get the three licenses, they need to get private, instrument, commercial, multi -end. The hourly rate goes right now for $73 an hour plus 30 for the instructor, so they pay $103 per hour. Well, Alex, thank you so much for your time. Okay, here we are. This is where they take the student actually before jumping into the plane, correct? Exactly. This is where you correct. give the lesson so they can learn everything and then. Exactly. This, this, this is a prior step to get into the plane. And it's pretty much the same thing that you this, see this on the. It's basically on the basic representation of the, of the plane. Okay. Okay, so let's turn it on the uh, simulator. Okay. Uh, first, we're gonna uh, turn on the master switch. This two right here? That's two. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put the uh, mixers reach all the way in. Okay. Forward. Move forward. Move forward like this, right? Okay. And we're gonna turn on the left engine. engine. First. So we're gonna put the fuel pump okay. on. So then we're gonna uh, uh, lean the mixer. Well, here we are. My first lesson, we're about to take off. So let's go do it. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test the engines before we take off, okay? okay. Uh, heading to uh, uh, Miami Beach, okay. okay? And we're crossing an altitude of 700 feet.
Okay, so here we are. We just finished my first lesson. Quite an experience. Thank you so much, Danny. Okay, no problem. My pleasure. To answer all your questions about safety airplanes, we interviewed Tomas Romero, president of Miami Tech, one of the best aircraft maintenance company in South Florida. There are been many changes after September 11. Uh, one of them is the implementing of line maintenance certificate. Um, Miami Tech was one of the first ones to apply and obtain the certificate by the FAA. We do line maintenance. After every flight where we check on fluids, the level of the oil of the engines, uh, we add the fuel according to dispatcher, and we check the complete airplane before departure. And then will be the overnight checks, and after that will be the edge check, which is at intervals of every 500 hours and we go deeper on the airplane and after that will be the heavy maintenance which is the sea checks. On the passenger side we do British, Virgin, Lufthansa, Aero Mexico, Tan, Copa. On the cargo area we do Gemini, we do Aero Air. Well thank you and that was all for our first show and I hope to see you here next time flying with us on the air.